Hi everyone, welcome to the third video in the Adara series on how to use ad customizers within Google Search. Uh, for this video, we're gonna be going through an example of how to create a customizer uh, based on the searcher's audience, right? And so these can be used uh, in tandem with either remarketing lists or customer match lists. Um, these are a little bit simpler to create, so you don't need a feed file or anything like that. All you need is an audience that's eligible to serve uh, within Google search. So this is an example of a, a fictional hotel chain that we've created um, and some uh, just demo audiences. Um, so yours may or may not look similar to this, um, but just know, you know, they need to be eligible uh, and within your audience manager to be used within a customizer, right? So you did have a similar functionality previously to, to assign certain creative um, to audiences if you want to go through the effort of segmenting your ad groups or campaigns um, into targeted ad groups specifically for those audiences. Um, but with this feature, you don't have to do that. You can write um, a formula directly within the ad creative um, where if a user is part of a particular audience, then you can serve uh, one type of creative to that user. So it allows you to simplify your account structure a little bit as well. Um, so once your audiences are built, um, they're pretty simple. Uh, to, to create the customizer. So uh, come into your ad creation setup and then uh, type curly bracket. And instead of customizer, this time we're going to be using the if function. And so you have two variables that you can uh, create customized creative on. So device, if you want to create a mobile specific ad unit, uh, but we're going to be using audience. So once you select audience, um, you can browse through everything that's targetable uh, within your audience manager. Um, so we'll just click card holders, here, card holders here as an example. And then you have two fields here uh, within the setup. The first one is what copy serves uh, when the searcher is part of the selected audience. So for this example, say we want to incentivize card holders in, in some way. So, And then the second option is uh, what serves um, as a default when a user is not uh, within a targeted audience. So this could be something more generic. All right, and then uh, you have a, a formula, an a if formula that uh, pastes in, into your headline. Uh, you can use this in either headlines or descriptions. Um, you can only use one audience uh, per customizer. And so if you want to set up customized creative for um, several different types of audiences, you would need to create um, completely different ad variants for, for each of those. And it's uh, really that simple. Uh, in this you know, particular example, uh, we have a, a couple of interesting options here. So uh, if you wanted to incentivize someone to join um, your rewards program, you know is an existing customer, but not a member of that program already. This is a, an example for that. Um, you know, similar to the example I just walked you through previously, if you wanted to incentivize card holders with a specific promotion, this would be an example to do that. And then another common application for this is incentivizing new customers or a new customer acquisition strategy. And the way you would do that is you would have your uh, default copy that serves if a user is part of your existing customer base, otherwise serve uh, a new customer coupon, something like 10, 15% off. So. Uh, hope this is helpful. Uh, audience customizers are a little bit easier to create than in Geo or price-based customizers, uh, but give you quite a bit of flexibility, especially if you have a, a, a decent audience strategy. So thanks.